the world has defined love as completely positive, without obstacles, without growth, without accountability. It just is. I don't believe that. Love is a beautiful struggle. When my dad passed away from pancreatic cancer, I remember feeling like I, I wish I had the courage to look up how to be with someone when they're dying. Because I read it afterwards, I wish I had read it before. But what they say is the most comfort they have is when you're holding their hand and you're giving them permission to go. And I know that that's um, probably maybe too macabre for some people, but I believe that people who are there metaphorically, physically there to hold your hand, that's love. Love is an agreement between people that you're just gonna journey through life with them. You're gonna be in the foxhole, you're gonna be in the weeds, and then you're gonna be throwing the rope, you're gonna be pulling them out, and then you're gonna be running through a bed of daisies and roses until you drop in the hole again. And then this time, even if you don't have the rope, you'll just get your hand and you'll dig them out. And the people who are not willing to do that, that's sort of like just, I don't know, just liking somebody a little bit. Love is way deeper. I knew that I love my husband because he made my life easier. I remember him telling me that when I said, Julius, I just, I want someone who's emotionally available. He said, well, I'm emotionally available. I said, I know, but I just want someone who's gonna fight with me, just, just love me, even with all my faults. He said, I love you with all your faults. That's when you know you're in love. When someone is willing to go through the mess and someone who's willing to honor the boundaries and someone who just thinks you're beautiful. I definitely feel my most beautiful when I'm needed by my husband and my daughter. I love to be needed by them. I love when they love me. I think love is a, yeah, is a good beauty tool. Oftentimes, people think that love is just supposed to be this easy thing. And it ain't supposed to be the most difficult thing in the world. But that's why I love how Viola describes it. Um, it's a battle, it's a fight, but as long as you have someone that's willing to fight with you, it's worth it. Like I heard before someone say, it's, 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 a, it's a boxing match, but you need your partner all 12 rounds. You need your partner. Y'all gonna get knocked down and bind you sometimes by the other person. Y'all gonna disagree, y'all gonna fuss sometimes. Good times definitely gonna still outweigh the bad, especially if you guys want to fight together. You're fighting for a purpose. A lot of times, if uh, advice if I can give someone in a relationship, attack the problem, don't attack the person. If your issue with someone is, oh my God, you're snoring, don't attack that person. Say, hey, maybe it's something wrong. Let's go to the doctor, see if it's something. Like, attack the problem, don't attack the person. But you need somebody all 12 rounds of that fight. Literally, you got to know both of be in agreement that, no, we're not going to split up no matter what it is. And when you have that mindset now, only way y'all breaking up is till that 12th round and that ding. And, and what that 12th round ding is, is till death do us part. Like a lot of times we looking for some easy way out. A lot of people, you go into it thinking the mindset of, oh, you know, if it don't work out, I can get a divorce. Let's not even get into this. You need to get into this like through thick and thin. Something else that like I think to be added on the topic of love is Love is wanting more for someone than they might even want for themselves. And that's not even just relationship, that's just people around you that you love. I know so many people around me that like, I have talks with them and it might get awkward because I want better for you than what I see what you're doing right now. That can go for anyone, your mother, your father, your brother, your sister, your brother, your fans, your friends. That's love, like I see more potential in you that you might see in yourself and I'm gonna speak on it. A lot of these things, man, it, love, love.
love, love, love covers a lot of areas, you know, and it's a beautiful thing.